you know, when, when I'm serving in the Marine Corps, uh, I, I'll tell you this, I, I figured I'd go into the Marine Corps because it was just a way for me to get in Chicago, to get a job, to have a different experience. And sadly, like most Marines do, we find a wrong relationship and we get married to the wrong person. And uh, that's what I stumbled into. So not only was it bad enough for me to go to two different combat deployments in my eight years on active duty and two in the reserves, but it was another battle for me to fight when I got back home. The other battle for me to fight back home, not only my physical uh, uh, um, situation, uh, but also the financial situation I was finding myself in, being a father now, single father after divorce, now having custody of my kids, I found myself in an economic battle. And here's the crazy part, in other battles, it's easy for me to deploy and face that battle. But when I got back home, I found myself completely exposed to a financial battle, completely exposed to a, a relationship battle, uh, exposed to a transition battle. And here's the thing, I had no back, I had no backup. Nobody's got my six on this one. Uh, my buddies weren't even trained for this either. I said, hey brother, how do you get out? Dude, I don't know, I'm, I'm dealing with the same stuff myself. So when, when I'm looking at myself, in the situation of now finally getting out of the Marine Corps, getting back home here to Chicago. In my transition, I need I needed to pay the bills. I didn't provide a roof over my head, uh, uh, food for my kids, which was automatic for eight years. Now I gotta provide for that type of stuff. Didn't really know what my veteran benefits were. Uh, uh, the, 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 the transition program, I think it's today still called TAPS, Transition Assistance Program. Uh, the TAPS program still hasn't changed for the last since I got out. Uh, 18, 20, 25, it's still the same program. Uh, uh, we found ourselves inequipped mentally, definitely financially, and I think I'm gonna hone today on the financial aspect because the financial aspect was so important to me because my three jobs, my three jobs, what was I doing? I was a YMCA lifeguard, five to eight o'clock in the morning. Picked up my son, dropped him off at school. Went to my second job, G Philip Hood Technician. If I wasn't a GFU hood technician, I'd be a server at the Olive Garden. Just wowing you with my resume, right? But these are the jobs that I needed to take just to pay the bills and put some food on the table. At least I went to Olive Garden, got some food for 60% off <laughs> and brought that back home. But what found me, what changed me was this gift called entrepreneurship. And instead of me, when I found myself, instead of me worrying about what's going down in the White House, I was more concerned with what was going on in my house. Because as they're gonna do their job, our, our, our elected officials are doing their job, I need to pay the bills this month, next week, today. I need to get my, my kids in school this district now, absolutely with, with a lot of urgency. So when I'm looking at my, my situation, dealing with PTSD, dealing with all these issues, I'm, thank, I'm thankful that entrepreneurship found me because when you're going through depression, at least my experience, now by the way, I'm not giving any clinical or, or health guidance or advice here, but at least for my situation, when I was starting to focus in on what I can do, what I need to do, and if I'm in my Humvee right now, this Humvee is going forward of my life. So I'm thankful that the gift of entrepreneurship was explained to me, broken down to me, so therefore I felt like for one time in my entire financial life, I had a bit of control. Whereas years before, I didn't have any control. I'm dependent on what people can give me, what entitlements I had, what, what I was entitled to. But the gift of entrepreneurs is in, listen man, no, 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 no. You got something here in your hand. So my message on this Veterans Day is quite different. My, my message to veterans today is quite different than most Veterans Day, because this is definitely a Memorial Day. This is Veterans Day. It's a different conversation. By the way, I can say that. Because my conversation is to challenge the veteran community. What am I talking about the veteran community? Because I believe that a strong leadership in the veteran community leads to a strong city, leads to a strong state, leads to a strong country.